Hey there Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at love, money, and a general message. So we have children. So your love life is being affected by children. Interesting. So you could have children. I feel like last time we did your reading we had this too. So are the children still affecting your love life? <laughs> I'm going to pull another one too. Okay, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, I feel like we got that card last time for your reading, too, for that last reading that we did. Very interesting, Sagittarius. Okay, for your money, we have the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. And for your general message, an oracle card for your general message, please. We have bright ideas, Archangel Urel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Okay, and we also have at the bottom, Victory, Archangel Sandalfon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Okay, so something that you're doing, the Spirit really wants you to know to have faith in your situation. That you are a beacon for brilliant ideas, you know. And I feel like something that you're doing, you're going to get answers on those very soon. Um, now, let's take a look at love. Why are the children interfering in your love life? And we also have let go of control. Okay, so message for Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius's love life? Give me a message for Sagittarius. Whoop, in love to me, please. Give me a message for Sagittarius. What's going on with Sag? Okay, well, okay. The Ace of Cups. Um... We have the Seven of Wands and the Five of Cups. So I feel like there's something new here. There could be a new love coming into your life. Um, there is something that you're letting go of that you, maybe new love is coming into your life after a time of grief, after a time of like feeling very defensive right um after a time of having your guards up i feel like you may be letting those guards down that could be these control issues that you're working through um but we do have the two of cups on the bottom so definitely definitely love coming through for you it may be something that's not expected because of the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, the Two of Cups on the bottom. Um, I feel like you're not expecting it. I feel like you've been kind of being concerned with your own issues, taking time out, you know, resting, rejuvenating, trying to find your balance here, um, becoming the person that you want to be, right? Um, but I feel like, you know, this love, sees you as this queen of wands as you know going after what you want going after what you need you know being very assertive taking action not caring what anybody else thinks okay so i feel like that's really beautiful here because um this person that's the way this person views you but I feel like you yourself, you're going through a you you're recently going through a time of grief. Of grief. I can't even say it right. 
Yeah, I reshuffled and we still have the Two of Cups on the bottom. Definitely. Okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, tell me about Scorpio's money. Success. Success. I hear it. Sagittarius. So people are seeing you. As far as your money, I feel like people are watching what you do, right? I feel like there's there's people that you had to leave behind because of being successful. I feel like there may be people who were jealous of you, who, you know, didn't have the best of intentions. I also feel like for some of you, Sagittarius, this Eight of Cups energy is representing you being able to let go of what no longer works in your life. You know, you are seeing yourself as successful. So now there are certain things that you just don't need in your life any longer. So you're like, mm, nope, I'm going to cut those out. You know, um, it could be that you're an influencer, that you're, you know, being highly regarded. Um... People are watching your actions, you know. Maybe they're watching your um, Instagram, Facebook. You know, they're watching your YouTube. Okay, and the Two of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like you're planning. You're planning things out for the future. I feel like that's the reason why you're looking for answers. And that's the reason why the answers are coming. There, there will likely be some bright idea that you're working on because I feel like there is something that you're planning. There is something that you're kind of working through. You're working the kinks out of it. Um, we do have the Ten of Cups on the bottom. So I feel like, you know, all is well. Happy life. Happy family. You know, um... And I feel like there's this wish contentment. And I feel like everything is good. Like it's all good, Sagittarius. It's beautiful energy. I feel like there's a lot of things that you're thinking about that you've gained a lot of wisdom on. And you're looking at things through different through different eyes, through a different lens. You know? There's different things that you're viewing. So tell me about... Sagittarius' general message. Give me a message for Sagittarius. What is the general message for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, look at this. The Ace of Swords. The Will of Fortune. And the Two of Swords. Okay, beautiful. At the bottom, we have the Seven of Cups. So I feel like there's a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of opportunities for you to pursue. Um, some, Not all these opportunities are going to be the right opportunities. Some of these opportunities are illusions, scams, whatever you want to call them. Um, but there's opportunities here that are solid. Right. And I feel like at times you're also in this caught up in your mind of confusion. OK, I feel like that's the reason why we have the Ace of Swords here, because there's there's clarity, there's a breakthrough. So after a time of confusion, you could be receiving the answers that you need. We have the King of Wands here. So I feel like what you're doing is putting your ideas to action okay you're you're putting some opportunity to action you're acting upon something and it's going to bring you a lot of abundance we have the ace of pentacles here along with the ace of swords okay so there there's something that's going to bring in new income new beginnings it could be a new job new career this idea that you're running with, right? But I feel like you are, 
you're balancing out your income. You're, you're looking at that long-term stability. You know, there's something that's going to bring you a long-term increase, right? This is the, this could also be your desire to make plans to do that, okay? Yeah, the, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, okay? Yeah, so I, I feel like, Sagittarius, you're going to have some kind of breakthrough moment. This is a turning point. With this Ace of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, you're at a turning point. There are going to be some decisions that you still need to make. So this is still in the progress. It hasn't really panned out yet, but it will, right? Because there's still some, some work that needs to be done with this Two of Swords energy. There, there's still some decisions to make. But I feel like you're at a turning point. You're at this breakthrough. And your luck is changing. Your perspective. Your perspectives are changing, okay? Your thoughts are coming. That could be this bright idea. You know, isn't it ironic that the uh, the Ace of Swords is right underneath this bright idea, you know? So I feel like the angels are really giving you a specific message. But... Overall, the Wheel of Fortune is really good. It's really good when the Wheel of Fortune comes out because this is a change. A change in like the tide, you know, like like your luck is changing. Good things come into you. A turning point, right? Okay, okay, Spirit, let's go ahead and clarify. Tell me about this Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands, and Five of Cups. Give me a message for Sagittarius in love, please. Give me a message for Sagittarius in love. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands, Five of Cups. More messages. Okay, yeah, the Two of Cups, definitely love. Now, that card wanted to keep coming out every time we reshuffled. So definitely Two of Cups, there is love coming through. And I feel like it's a time after feeling defensive and grieving. But you have this new love, okay? Um, tell me about this Two of Cups energy. Okay, the Queen of Wands wanted to pump pop out. So this Two of Cups energy is very bold, very feisty, very confident. Um, they go after what they want, right? They may also see you in this energy, but I feel like you know, after some time alone, this person may have been alone for a while. Um, I feel like they see you as the, the Queen of Wands. We also have the King of Wands here. So definitely, definitely someone out to get what they want. A go-getter, you know, very persuasive. Very feisty, very confident, bold, powerful, charming, courageous. You know, that's the wands energy. You know, it could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this could be, you know, the same sign as you are. You could be taking on this energy. Um, but I feel like they, they could very well be another fire sign. Okay? So tell me about... Sagittarius's money. Tell me about what's going on with Sagittarius's money. The Five of Pentacles. So you don't necessarily have everything that you want at the moment, but I feel like you're working on it. I feel like that success 
That Six of Wands energy is going to help you through it. Yeah, because you're definitely building. You're building. You're not where you want to be, Sagittarius, but you're going to where you need to be. Right? You're just not there yet, but you're working on it. So I'm liking this because you're going from the Five of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. So there's something that you're definitely mastering. There's something that you're definitely working to... Um, build up so i'm really liking that energy for you because you're in this stage where you're learning new things you're planning okay so if you aren't where you want to be have faith that you will be like i said the answers will be coming you know okay and for your general message what do we have for sagittarius the Page of Cups, wow, and the Hangman. The Hangman is in reverse, so I don't feel like you've made any decisions just yet. But I do feel like, you know, the Page of Cups, this is that offer, that irresistible offer, right? And I feel like someone is making an offer to you. Someone's coming in with an opportunity that... At first glance, may look a little bit too good to be true. And I feel like you are not able to make a decision. Because we have the Two of Swords here. And the Hangman in Reverse. So the Hangman in Reverse, he's not making any, he's not making any choices. He hasn't come to a decision. Right? He hasn't come to his enlightenment yet. He's still working on it. Yeah, I feel like there's, it, it could be that you're stalling, that you really don't want to make a choice in choosing an opportunity or taking advantage of this offer. Um... But I just feel like you just haven't come to the decision yet, right? You haven't been able to make the choice yet. So tell me why Sagittarius hasn't been able to make up their mind about this opportunity. Tell me about this, about this Page of Cups. This Page of Cups could be dealing with this love over here. It could be that you're, you're stalling. It could be that you're stalling, Sagittarius, because you want to know more about this, right? The Knight of Swords. Yeah, you don't want to make any hasty decisions. You want to take your time. You don't want to rush into anything. You're like, mm, no, I'm not going to rush. I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to, you know, run into this in haste. And we have the judgment card on the bottom. So definitely, I feel like, you know, you're, whatever this energy is in your general energy, I feel like you have the ability to make the final decision. So the final decision is yours. But making this decision may be pushing you out of your comfort zone to um, kind of pursue something totally different. Okay? Maybe a change and uh, a, a purpose or you know having this full clarity before you make a decision but I, I feel like with the judgment card on the bottom yeah look at this the two of swords in reverse you're not able to make this decision yet we have the ace of swords in reverse the ace of cups in reverse yeah, so yeah, you're kind of upside down in your feelings. You're like, no, I'm not able to make this decision yet. I'm not able to do it. So yeah, just n now you're stalling. Now you're like, you're in doubt.
Okay, so I, yeah, I, I feel like it'll be much more clear after, you know, you are fully in control of your situation. I feel like that's the issue. You want to be in control of your situation. And right now with needing to make choices, you feel like you don't really have that control. Okay, so let's get some angel cards for Sagittarius. Okay, we have Ascension. Move into your true self and rise above the darkness. The light is here. So you're, you're currently growing. You're currently growing. We also have prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. So... I feel like your angels want to be in your decision because we have the answers you need are coming. Ask and you shall receive, you know. Um, so I really feel like, you know, I'm going to take one more. We have magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay, stay focused. Okay, so... Yeah, you could definitely be manifesting something. So that could be the reason why the clarity just isn't there at the moment. Because you're busy manifesting what this is that you want. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel number. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, Persistence. Okay, keep going. You have completed a task that is in alignment with your soul's journey. The divine is letting you know that it sees you and all, that, all of your persistence is paying off. You are being acknowledged. Okay, your affirmation takes steps to stay in alignment with your soul's journey. Let me read that one more time. Your affirmation, I take steps to stay in alignment with my soul's journey and I reap the rewards of my persistence. Okay, so that is your angel number and your affirmation, Sagittarius. So, my beautiful Sag. Okay, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, take a look at your other placements and... I'll see you on the next one, Sag. Many blessings to you. Happy Easter and love and light.